Let's get you on the hottest fashion picks right now. This time, Prada's Velvet Cahier bag is taking all the color. Made in velvet and dripping with glam, the bags have a colorful ambiance and a chic feel that is sure to make any outfit pop. As always, Prada gives a cool boom with different color offerings and a going rate of $2,680. All that's left to see is if this bag will become a street style fave. out the trending makeovers to spice up your looks. Let the pros take you on one fashion-tastic spin. It's a quick take of elegant simplicity and dazzling fashion glam. All eyes on it, we spot on it. Check out the latest fashion roundup as they hit the web. For more trending details on fashion do's and don'ts and the most fantastic pieces, watch Spice TV's Fashion 360. Guys, Cardi B is engaged to her boyfriend, or should I say fiancé now, Offset. Now, she was performing with Migos in Philly earlier in the week and she turned her back for a bit in the middle of the song and Offset went up to her, tapped her and got down on almost one knee and popped the question and she said yes and my god, what a rock that was. I think I noticed about her proposal is that gangsters propose differently. I mean, look at Offset. I mean, regular human beings will go down on one knee completely and pop the question, but Offset just sort of did a, a mini squat with it and was like, you know, it was he was really suave about the whole thing, but Cardi B said yes, and afterwards she went on Instagram and all her social media platforms to gush about Offset believing in her when nobody did and all that and all that and being so good to her and being so good to his kids and everything, and she is very ecstatic about being engaged to Offset. Now the thing I might hear you say is that, oh, when they start dating, is it not too early? But one thing I can say for that specifically is that it is never too early as long as you know what you want. And maybe Cardi B knows what she wants and maybe that is offset. Another thing I can think about this is that maybe, you know, both of them are sort of like their hip hop power couple when it comes to the younger generation these days. I mean, Cardi B is just 25 and offset is a... Uh, I think in a similar age range. So maybe they're trying to solidify it, maybe do a little bit of younger hove and be just a less suave version of them. But, you know, we can only hope for Cardi B and Offset and hope that they kick it off and hope that they actually get married because what we see these days with celebrities is that oh, they get engaged but never get married. They get engaged for the buzz. They get engaged for, you know, the publicity and everything. But in the end, they never get married and maybe after a while they call it off and go their separate ways. But for the sake of hip-hop, sake of trap music, the sake of Migos, the sake of Cardi B, the sake of Offsets, I pray that Cardi B and Offset actually take it the mile and go ahead and get married and probably have little trap babies just hanging around, little Cardi B's, little Offsets and everything. I know. Little Cardi B's, little Offsets and everything. And we will definitely keep our eyes and ears down for more on this juicy detail. Curvy fashion is here to stay. After the triumphant success that Natasha Nguibbe is about that curvy life collection, at Henneken Lagos Fashion and Design Week 2016, ATCL is engaged in Africa in a conversation about body positivity and plus size inclusion via LFDW's esteemed 2017 platform. Powered by the tech giant Intel, the current slogan, I am powerful, is in line with the about that curvy life's message of empowerment affirming every man and woman's right to feel beautiful, confident and stylish in whatever they wear. Let's get you on the hottest fashion picks right now. This time, Prada's Velvet Cahier bag is taking all the color. 
Made in velvet and dripping with glam, the bags have a colorful ambiance and a chic feel that is sure to make any outfit pop. As always, Prada gives a cool boom with different color offerings and a going rate of $2,680. All that's left to see is if this bag will become a street style fave. Sleek on the waves, sleek on the moves, the water boy is definitely living it up. You know, a lot of people know you for your style. Mm. What would you say inspires you? Who are your favorite brands? Style wise, I just like being very original, mm. very organic. Um, I like prints, I like uh, vintage. I love trad. Traditional attire is my favorite, most comfortable mm -hmm. stuff to wear. Tenny of DRB is clearing up a lot of air and we are talking everything. To be honest with that, like I think at the end of the day, what people didn't know about DRB is uh, we were a group, but we were all solo artists. So yeah. before we even dropped any DRB singles, we dropped our solo singles in, like individually. Yeah. So we were just lucky enough that our first big song happened to be a group song, which yeah, was Tony, same. as you know. So. Um, the honest truth is we're always solo artists, so yeah. at some point we were always going to go on to do our own projects and our own ventures and we all had different interests at the same time. Get the lowdown of the life and moments of Africa's young executive this Friday only on Fashion 360. So guys, I must say, it's been a good year when it comes to women's fashion. I mean, the A-list women of fashion have been killing it and making everybody else green with envy. But are you ready to know who has been crowned the best dressed woman of 2017? Well, here is a little countdown. We're going to start off with Kate Hudson, who kills it on the red carpet, whether she's wearing a red carpet dress or just wearing anything she pleases at that particular time. And up next, we have Beyonce's sister, Solange, who, of course, is never conventional when it comes to her dress style. I mean, she just wears whatever she pleases and she ends up slaying, especially with the hair colors. And up next, we have Emily Ratajkowski, who is just a classic woman in every sense of the word, killing red carpet outfits after outfit. And after that, we have FKA Twigs, who, you know, is sort of like Solange when it comes to her dress sense. She wears what I would like to call a mix of street style and a little bit of urban and she looks perfect every single time and then we take a look at Miley Cyrus who you know from her days as the Disney Queen and now to her wrecking ball phase and right now I think she's in a Malibu type phase and it is working very very well for her and last but not least the winner or the people's best dressed woman of the year is none other than supermodel Gigi Hadid who kills it every time. I mean, on the runway, she's spectacular. On the red carpet, she's spectacular. Makeup always done well, hair always slicked back, looking very casual and nice. And her outfits always kill. I mean, if she styles herself, she is a queen. And if she has a stylist, the stylist is very, very good. But who do you think deserves to be on this list? You should let us know. Mazelle Studio recently unveiled the pre-spring summer collection titled Abelkata with pieces made from Ankara, Adiria and Ashoke. The Abelkata collection takes its inspiration from ancient Abelkata with modern twists on local classic textile. According to the designer Mariam Afolabi, our interpretation of the spirit of the Abelkata woman is colourful and vivacious. We want to celebrate her through our pieces. <laughs> She is the boohoo fashionista. Tonya Garrick braids it with a difference. Our poster girl for the short crop finally takes a turn for a life of long hours of braid life. And no, this doesn't come with a headache. Tonya Garrick chic tracks are packed full with love. And what's not to love? This bold earring moment on flowing locks might be the start of a new movement for Nigerian fashionistas. The longest part of me getting ready are these two things, my hair and my face. On the style radar, Tonya is definitely the screen diva without the body con slaying for Africa with her step out game. Yes, baby girl, for this and every stylish moment scored, we see you.
And last but not least on the show today, award-winning writer and filmmaker Oyeka Nwilwe has come out to say in a lengthy Instagram post that young Nigerians should stop feeling inadequate when they see the luxurious lifestyle some celebrities are supposedly living on social media because according to him, every celebrity, including himself, is broke. I don't know, that might be true or that might not be the case, but he has said that, or he even name dropped, he even said, oh, Don Jazzy is uh, paying, paying rent, he's a tenant, he is broke, the band is hustling every day to see food to eat, Davido is spending show money, and you know, he just said a lot of things about everybody should trust the process and everybody should not be downtrodden when they see people on social media trying to flex because that is just what they want you to see and he has said that all celebrities are broke and they do not have money now that is an okay statement to make by Onyeka, but i disagree with the fact that all celebrities are broke because that wouldn't be true now even though don jazzy is a tenant or maybe he rents a house or whatever it is you cannot tell me he's not the president of one of the biggest record labels in the country at the moment and of course he's getting money off that so i talk about whiskey whiskey has to be getting money of course davido has to be getting money and like the i select few artists that get money a little more than the others but you know they get money nonetheless so saying every nigerian artist is broke is false but people who go on social media to look at the lives these celebrities supposedly live it is just false. I mean, some of them post up things that are not there. Some of them put up uh, money that they don't have. Some of them just make it look like they are living the life where they are actually not. So the thing about social media is that social media is what people want you to see and not actually what is happening in real life. So if you are putting in work in your own corner, I trust you to trust the process and do not look at the lives of celebrities to get yourself validation. Keep at it and everything will come good. Banang Mathiba has made history. South African's Queen Bee is taking it to the bank. I choose love by being love. There's something about love that emancipates a woman, like she can do and conquer anything. That's the power of love. So while we're here trying to get over how Lover Boy rapper, AKA, forced out an astronomical 79,000 rand for Bonang Mathiba's 30th birthday, South Africa has to shut it down for this one. Um, sorry, no we are not talking about the Gert Johan Coatsy showstopper that night. Please rewind if you can, but Bonang has made history as the first South African celebrity to get her own set of emojis. The set is named the emojis as a combination of the word Bonang and emojis. The emoji move is part of a massive campaign that will include the release of a book, a reality TV show, and a dedicated mobile app. Give or take, these emojis are now viral, and yes, you guessed right, the new emoji set includes her rapper boyfriend, AKA. Bonang now follows in the footsteps of US stars Kim Kardashian, Amber Rose, Justin Bieber, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and Lady Gaga in releasing the custom set of emojis. Reality star Kim Kardashian was probably the most successful, accumulating millions with her emojis. At one point during its launch in 2015, over 9,000 people were buying the $1.99 app every second. Her husband, Kanye West, claimed that when it launched, the emojis shut down the app store and made a million dollars per minute. Kim herself claimed to have made more than 80 million dollars, which is a billion rand, through her app ventures. Bonang will be hoping to replicate some of that success and her team are confident of making a massive impact on the local mobile application market. Contemporary Nigerian fashion brand Enlari unveils its later capsule collection featuring Tracy Nwapa, tagged Tracy X Enlari. The collaboration between Tracy, founder of Tracy's Peace and Enlari, embraces the highlights and dynamics of everyday women. From the various silhouettes that celebrate a plethora of shapes to the different cuts that reveal that she is not afraid to show strength in her femininity. The capsule is a collection of outfits that show a lady in her element, with an array of outfits that can be worn to work, to a dinner party or to a casual date. Enlari has delivered a capsule collection 
fashion that embodies the woman in her true element, comfortable and powerful in her femininity. Off and on the red carpet, stunning Osas Igodaro is bound to make heads turn. Just my journey is what I talked about being on stage and how it was supposed to be just six months of me being in Nigeria and the fact that I'm being recognized for something that I have such a passion for and that I love to do. We're giving it up for when she set these covers on fire with that smoldering look. With Osas, everything is smoldering. Face, smile, act, and of course, that banging body. I just feel truth works out better at the end of the day. And the designers love her just fine. Check out Osas' custom-made Andrea and Maya lace gown at her wedding. Total love? How about the time she nailed those other red carpet moments with her partner, Ben Ro Yummy couple, yeah? I was very emotional. I was just like, are you kidding me? I won. What? If you try today, if you cry. <laughs> By God's grace, hopefully I will cry on stage. <laughs> These couple moments are the life of the red carpet. Okay, guys, we've come to the end of this episode of Fashion 360. But remember, if you want to keep up with it, just online, the website is www.myspice.tv and the social media handle is at Spice TV Africa across all social media platforms. If you want to keep up with me, you can go to my social media page at the official SO across all platforms, including YouTube and SoundCloud. I have some material going up soon that you do not want to miss. So check me out on those platforms. And until next time, this has been Fashion 360. I am your host, Esso, but I gotta go, and I will see you tomorrow.